feel like there's a bit of a recurring theme with these vlogs. Uh oh. Ow. What do we reckon? Cute as a cactus? <laughs> These curtains have driven me insane on this trip. So the switch for them is under this sloping wall. And so when I went to reach the switch the first evening, I smashed my head on that. And then you have to press these buttons. Let's try and get the other one open. See, now I'm closing it. Am I just being really dumb? Oh, I am being really dumb. Drapes curtains, right, get the drapes open. Because what happened the other night was this window had been left open, so it was coming forwards. I went to close the curtains and they got all caught up in it, but the thing kept going. I could hear this awful ripping noise and the curtain rod was straining. It wasn't a good situation. Anyway. Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday. I've just come to the end of a five day job. I'm here in... Belgium um, and today I'm going to be traveling home before I go to the airport I've got a couple of hours free so I thought we'd go and take a look around I want to pop up into the town and uh, take a look at the shops and I thought you might be interested to see what it's like here I'm in a town called Mons which actually I think it's a city I think it's the third largest city here in Belgium so yeah we'll go and have a look I just want to show you my desk setup before we go in this hotel room. I really like this one because it's actually got really good light. Um, it's got this huge window in front of it. So often I find in hotel rooms the desk is in a dark corner, um, but this one's really good. And this is the book that I've been reading. I've spoken about this a bit on Instagram. This is what I picked up at the car boot sale for 50p and it's called How to Save an Hour Every Day Guaranteed. So what it's advising you to do is to actually log your day in 15 minute segments. You can do it hourly and then you're going to get a really good idea of actually what you do spend your time doing and if you've been wasting any time. So I've been giving it a bit of a go since I've been here. Um, my days are scheduled anyway because I'm just working so those hours are kind of already um, sorted. So what I've been doing is looking at how I've been spending my time in the evenings and the other night it was ridiculous because I I just was just aware of a lot of the time that I've been wasting. So I was in the supermarket, for example, picking up some food, and then I wasted about 15 minutes in the shampoo aisle, um, picking things up in there, which I didn't need to be doing at all. I've got stuff like that with me. I was just browsing. And then um, I spent so long one evening just lying on the bed, scrolling through social media. I think it was nearly an hour and 15 minutes. Um, within that time I did a bit of other stuff, but really too long for the amount of time that I have in the evenings. But yeah, I've really been trying to make a conscious effort to sort of keep an eye on things. And just what I'm doing with my time, because I'm trying to fit in the gym while I'm here. I'm trying to keep up to date with YouTube and stuff. I had like a video to edit. Oh, thank you guys so much for all of your nice comments on the IKEA vlog. I'm really pleased that um, it seems to me that the people here on this channel uh, love IKEA as much as I do. It's really great. So thank you for all of your um, comments. I really enjoyed reading through them all. I met some people who are from the military while I was out here as well, and um, they took me through one of their preparation drills, which was a challenge, but I actually really enjoyed it. So I found a YouTube video for um, army preparation drill um, to do as my warm up in the gym and I really like it. I kind of like the um, formality of it and yeah, I really enjoy it and it's a good warm up as well. So you can search that on YouTube if you fancy having a go. And then the workouts that I've been doing either in the hotel gym or the ones in my hotel room are all um, by Hasfit, who are one of my favorite YouTube channels for doing workouts. You can just follow along and there's two coaches, Coach Kozak and Claudia, and they'll just take you through the whole thing and they'll show you it in different levels so you can pick and choose whether you want it a bit easier or not. And I just find them really brilliant. They've got all different times, like from five minutes to 45 minutes. So there's something for everybody and they've got beginner ones as well. So I highly recommend them if you fancy getting active while you're traveling, which sometimes is quite difficult, I think. Whilst I was wasting time browsing in the shampoo aisle, I did pick up this mask. My skin's been really bad since I've been here. I think it's because of sunscreen. Um, so this is like a detox mask with charcoal in it by L'Oreal. It was pretty good actually. It's very synthetic um, smelling. It's not particularly like a relaxing face mask to wear. I prefer ones that have got some kind of essential oils in them or at least smell kind of wholesome, if that makes sense. I like the ones that are either freshly made or a bit clayey or a bit muddy or yeah, and this was just like, it reminded me of putting the paint on my roof terrace. So <laughs> it wasn't the nicest thing to wear, but it, it seemed to do the job. It felt like it was giving my pores good clean out so I guess 
I guess it's done its thing. That was 10 euros, I think, and it's got 10 applications in it. So one euro per face mask isn't bad. Yeah, I'm gonna go and have some breakfast and then we'll go and take a look around. I think I've got about an hour and a half, maybe two hours um, before I need to be out of the hotel and at the airport. I've gone for a coffee and an orange juice, some eggs, bacon, bowl of cocoa pops, and there's a couple of baby bells which will be going in my bag because I know that later on I will be so happy to find them. <laughs> a gloomy and windy day here today. The weather has actually been really nice, but um, yeah, it seems to have turned today. Um, yeah, so what are you guys up to this week anyway? Let me know in the comments. I'd like to know how your week's uh, starting. Are any of you watching the World Cup? It's not something that I've really watched before, but I went out last night and I actually really enjoyed the match that I was watching. It could have been something to do with the beers that I was drinking, but um, I did actually start to get into it and I think that is something that I could maybe get into. I might start watching that. This is a cool structure. It's all been made out of long planks of wood. And they're just all bolted together like this. Kind of reminds me of a bird's nest. Really cool though, look at that. I'm slightly scared that one's gonna slide out and spike me. <laughs> some really nice architecture here and I love the colour of the buildings. This is the main square that I'm on now. I think it's called the Grand Platz. That's the town hall. And they've got the big screens up ready for the football. I was saying yesterday they haven't had any chips here which I think Belgium's kind of famous for its fries and uh, then I got a kebab and the kebab had chips in it. I can't tell you how happy I was when I found chips in my kebab. Literally like the best combination ever. I don't think I've ever had that before. I'm on the main shopping street now and I've spied a shop here called Hemmer, which is one that I go to. There's one in London in Victoria Station. There's one in Birmingham in the station that I go to. It's kind of like a high street Ikea. So I thought we'd go and have a look at the homeware in there. I did not know that they did clothes. These are like the ones that I picked up in Poundland, I think. These are a bit nicer. And so are these. Oh, these are solar, though. Together, wouldn't they? Do we like? Good price. I'm gonna get these mirrors. This is really reminding me of um, a town near where I grew up. It's kind of that sort of size, and yeah, just really reminds me of it. It's a CNA as well. I've got a JD. Uh oh. Sale. I should not be doing this. That's hilarious. <laughs> okay, there's a sale on, and I'm gonna try a few things on. Now, these are nice. 45. <gasps> it's a shame it hasn't got a collar. I might try it anyway. Okay, I've picked up a few things to try on. I've got a shirt, a couple of t-shirts, vest, a biker jacket, which is half price in the sale, and some skinny jeans. What else have we got? 
Oh, some white trousers. They're just off-white. Hey, this is a no. It just doesn't fit very nicely. And this thing, no. I prefer the one that I saw in Boohoo, so I'm gonna wait for that to come out. What do we reckon? Cute as a cactus? <laughs> Quite like this. I'm gonna roll the sleeves up. Four euros. Grandad collar. I like this. This is, how much is this? I can't see. But um, yeah, I thought this would be good for holidays, just to chuck on if you go into the pool. What do we reckon? I'm not sure. I love the stripe. I wonder whether I should get them in a size small, I don't know if they're a bit baggy. So all this is not coming with me. I've literally just got the three items. I've been a bad, bad boy. Now I'm gonna be late. I've got like half an hour to get back. This looks so nice. Look at the church up there. So nice the houses around here, look at these. I feel like there's a bit of a recurring theme with these vlogs and it's usually ending up going up a steep hill to try and get a view over the town at the same time as having about half an hour left for I have to leave the airport. So I'm on a mission now. Oh. Oh, this park doesn't open until 10 o'clock. And it's half past 11. Du Mardi au Dimanche. I think it's closed on Mondays. Oh, that's a shame. Sorry. If I can find a picture or a postcard of the view, I'll insert one now. <laughs> um, sorry about that. Right, I've got to rush back to the hotel now. And I haven't packed. This is standard. Had to get a banter. Taste of summer right there. Just got back. I've literally talking about my 15 minute schedule. I've got 15 minutes to get this room packed up and get the hell out of here. Well, it's hot in here. It's gone from being a cloudy day to a very muggy day. and I've got about a good hour or so um, before the flight, so I'm actually gonna try and get a bit of work done and make the most of my time here. I've got access to the lounge, so I have made the most of it. Have a look at what I've got. <laughs> made a chicken salad and when in Belgium you've got to have some waffles right and I've gone for some Nutella and a gin and tonic Whoops. to see you. Who else loves their sofa? Such a nice thing to see. <laughs> Favourite spot. Where I film loads of my videos. That's where I always sit. Um, ooh, what's going on here? You don't look like you should be on there. Alright, you guys miss me? <laughs> 
crazy man talking to his plants. Okay, you've definitely got a lean going on, which is slightly concerning. And I'm not sure about this. Yeah, you're missing something. I think the window has not been opened enough. How's this looking? Are you gonna flower? I think we're getting some flowers. I was gonna do a um, DIY with these, having been inspired by some trays that I saw at a flower market. Look at that. You all seem to really like this. I have stuffed it. I need to stuff it a bit better, but it's looking good, isn't it? It goes really well, I think, with the, um, the Persian rug, the chest and everything. Very pleased with that. That was three quid. This one's still doing really, really well. Looking good still. It's gone green. The colours that I'm getting from this are so incredible. Do you remember how blue it was before? Look at the green now magic it is literally reminds me of those uh, changing color t-shirts that used to get in the 90s so much because look at the colors that lilac and it's just turning into a green now so incredible you look like you've missed me what's what's the matter are you dry you're just depressed aren't you because mr carrington hasn't been here to talk to you they're hardy hardcore Ow! <laughs> okay, should we have a quick look outside? I've not shown you the terrace since I put all the plants back, so it's a bit of a mess again, but it's all gonna get sorted again before the next stage of the makeover, so let's have a look. Okay, so that's popped up. I had no idea that this flowered. This is the one that got attacked by all the snails, and look at this. How amazing is that? I had no idea. I can't believe that. That stem wasn't even there when I left five days ago. The grasses I've just left in this bag for now just to make sure they've got water in there and they seem to be very healthy. Oh, is that one okay? You, you might need to come out a bit. I think they're okay. We've still got some wild strawberries. I'm gonna have a couple now. And they literally taste like sweets. Look at the geraniums. This is bonkers. I cannot believe what is going on out here. These are a bit dry, I think. Oh dear, you need water. And so, oh dear, look at this. Right, I need to get the watering can out. Oh my God, okay, this is ridiculous. We've got cherries, we've actually got cherries and they look ripe. These were small and tiny and red when I left. It just blows my mind how quickly things can change. Usually the squirrels get to them way before I do, so I'm gonna try one now. It's so rare that we actually get to these in time to actually eat them. Usually I see the squirrel out there and then the next day the whole lot are gone. Maybe I should pick them all before they all get stolen by the squirrels. So the chairs are still here waiting to be christened properly. And what else is going on? This is all looking all right. I think we need some water urgently. So I'm gonna do that later this evening. Yeah, all good. I think I might be donating some of these to my friend. I'm not sure if they're too big for the terrace now. So I might be giving them to her to put in her garden and actually plant them in the soil so they can become bigger shrubs. Look at this. Can you believe that out of a pot, we have got pears going on? Obviously this has got a bit further to go, but that is a proper pear. I'm so excited. And another one here, look. Any more? Even if I get two pears off of this tree, I will be so happy. I'm not sure about this guy, but let's see what happens. You never know. There's some green still in there, so hold the faith. Let's um, keep our fingers crossed for that one. This one's doing all right. Loads of mint still. It's definitely mojito time soon. So yeah, just to give you an overview, this is the situation. So all the plants have come back and I wanna have a proper sort out of them all and decide which ones I wanna keep, which ones I'm gonna maybe donate and maybe just find some ways to actually keep them along the fence or off the sides a little bit. So I wanna free up some of this space to put the chairs in the middle and get a bit more of a, a seating area here because it's a bit crowded right now. So that is the plan and it'll be coming soon. This box is doing really good. This was a little one back in the day. I've probably had that about three years now. And I think that one was probably like seven pounds when I bought it and it's just flourished. And this concrete pot, you've guessed it, came off a skip. And the reason why? Because it had a few cracks in it round the back, which nobody can see. 
it is looking a bit of a mess again, isn't it? But don't worry, it'll all be sorted soon and I can't wait to show you it all when it's finished. Okay, I'm going to end the vlog there. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a brilliant week, whatever you're up to. I'm actually sitting in the space where I filmed my first ever YouTube video, which still hasn't been uploaded. The reason being is because I still, and it's been two years, haven't finished renovating my stairs. So what I like to do is commit to things. So I thought if I actually mention this in this video, maybe I'll actually get that one uploaded. And let me know in the comments if you'd like to see my first ever go at YouTube, because I think that footage could be quite amusing and quite bad, but I could include it if I actually get around to sorting this out. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe. I'm posting new videos every single week, and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I've got a few more videos coming for you, hopefully this week. Um, I've got a Ikea haul to do, so that should be up very soon. I've also got a thrift haul. I found some amazing stuff, including a pair of trainers that I cannot believe I found for four pounds. So I think you'll like those. Um, I've also got some men's fashion. I bought some things today that I'm gonna show you and some other bits and pieces. And yeah, let me know what else you'd like me to film and I will do my best to do that for you. So have a lovely week and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching, bye. Please, can we just ignore the, the dust? Yeah, that's not the thing.